We should realistically understand that Russia is not going to change its strategic aim to control Ukraine. Moving further, to get an upper hand over the Eastern Europe and far beyond. If we really want to guarantee our common security, I believe we should elaborate a comprehensive and long-standing concept of new containment of Russia's aggression and imperialistic ambition. And that's a vital and crucial task for us. We should realistically understand that the Minsk process was brought by Russia to a stalemate and as its implementation has never been a goal of the Kremlin. In Putin's mind, it was designed to become an instrument to undermine Ukraine and Europe. The leadership of Chancellor Merkel successfully helped us to use its ceasefire potential. But now, remaining committed to the peacemaking sense of the Minsk agreements, let us have no illusion that President Putin steps back either in 2017 or in the year of his revanchist presidential campaign of 2018, unless the international community imposes further strong and firm pressure upon him. We, the Ukrainians, should understand that our future completely depends on the proactive and creative way to consolidate the international and regional solidarity. Along with the Normandy format, along with the leading collective security bodies, we should exercise and explore as many international endeavors as reasonably possible. In this sense, the second meeting of the Baltic and the Ukrainian Prime Ministers is a great example of solidarity, but also a pattern of smart approach to the regional cooperation. 